Well, hello there, everybody. I know it's been a while, but I've been really, really busy. Anyway, I wanted to address something that has been on my mind. I've been getting a lot of either comments or personal messages about my hair type. People seem to be really obsessed with hair type, don't you think? Now, what is the purpose of hair typing? Is it to create a hierarchy of hair types? Because that seems to be quite of what's going on a lot of the time, right? If you look in the media, they tend to associate a prettier black girl, natural black girl, with people who have those spirally, shiny, shiny curls. Don't you notice that? And you're more black, you know, if you have kinky hair for some reason. Anyway, I decided to shoot this video in black and white so that you can see that I have a whole bunch of craziness going on inside here. Now, I had this styled about a week ago and I just started pulling at it, pulling at it until I can get the stuff separated, you know. And um, I've been spraying it with water like all week. You know what? I've been very lazy with my hair this week, I have to tell you. It's my first week off of school. And I just don't feel like doing anything, to tell you the truth, you know? Um, but this is kind of close to the... This is like what my hair is like. Um, like fresh out of the shower, it tends to kind of do this, you know? Um, but there's a lot of stuff going on in there. I did some little drawings of what some of the things that I, I see my hair doing, like when it comes out in a comb or in a shower or whatever, like you know and here is here are a few of the types that I have okay this is what the back of my hair looks like it's spirally curls as you can see and sometimes it changes direction but that's how it is in the back of my hair that's the part of my hair that will probably respond the best to kinky curly but like who cares because it's in the back of my head right yeah well then there's some other stuff that's going on in my head. And sometimes it looks like this. Sometimes it looks like this. That's like probably the section just above the back of my hair, right? And then sometimes it does this. This, you I tend to find at the front of my head. This is like the madness that goes on in front. No particular pattern. Each strand is a whole not is different, you know. So it could do something like, for example, I can have like this going on. I can have like this going on in my head. Right? And that's why I can't define it because it's, <coughs> what are you defining? You have to have similar curls next to each other to clump together to define a curl pattern. Right? And I guess that's what they would call 4B or 4C hair because it's kinky and curly. Right? But anyway, then there's parts of my hair like this. That's like this middle section here tends to be like that, right? It's straight up and down waves, but it's not one kind of wave. It'll have these three different types of waves all together. So some parts stick together, some parts don't. Some parts are like so, like they're almost straight. It's like this. And of course, the infamous front of my head, curly, kinky, wiry, coily, whatever you want to call it. All right. Um, I hope this answers a lot of questions because it seems like we got something really strange going on on here concerning hair type and curl pattern. And I wonder if we're creating a whole nother ism altogether. Like, are we creating curlism now? We had racism and colorism. Is curlism going to be our next new issue among us black people? What's that all about? You know, I think we need to celebrate all our individual curl types. And you know what? Doesn't matter what curl type you are. If you have stuff that's consistent in your one head, good for you. Kudos to you because it's going to make your life a lot easier. 
The only thing I think that's it's probably beneficial as as far as like having um like a spirally shiny curl, which I guess is like a three type curl, is that you guys are able to do a wash and go. And boy, that is desirable because it's so convenient. You wet your hair, you throw some gel up in that jammy, and you're good to go. But when you have like three different types of patterns on your head or whatever, that's really hard to do because some of the hair responds, some of it doesn't respond. So you could do all this work and then still end up with a crazy I never thought about my curl pattern before I joined YouTube. You know what I mean? It, do, it was just Ayana's crazy hair with 10 different textures. That's what I called it. You know, I, I, if, if I had to do, if I had to put myself as one type, it would be type 4R, rebellious, not wanting to be defined. Pretty much. But you know what? I'm learning to embrace my crazy mess. This is what it is. This is what it's all about. You don't like it. My boss doesn't like it. Well, this is who I am. I came out of my mother's womb like this. I've always had this hair. You know, I'm going to do a, a history video of my hair just so people could see the different stages I went through with styling or growth or whatever it is. And you know what? I'm working on a song. It's called Beautifully Mine. And it's all about celebrating all the little quirks that we at one time may have found to be undesirable or not beautiful. And the chorus goes, um, but that's fine. That's the way I was designed. Every freckle curl a line is fine refined and beautifully mine and that song is all about the different quirks that I may have found unbeautiful at some point so my advice is celebrate who you are as an individual whether it, it's one curl pattern or ten just celebrate who you are don't obsess about it see you guys